Visiting any state in Northeast India is always fun and full of adventure. This time I am visiting the land of warriors, Nagaland, to enjoy the festival of festivals, Hornbill Festival, which is one of the biggest fest in the entire Northeast India. So let's start our journey. This morning we have started our 400 kilometers ride from Guwahati towards the hill station Kohima, the capital city of Nagaland. Hello everyone, good morning from Kohima. Currently I am staying here in an Airbnb in Midland Colony, Kohima. Yesterday evening I have arrived here so I couldn't explore any places out here. I am planning today to explore some of the nearby sightseeing places like the War Cemetery, the Catholic Church and the Hornbill Festival also. It's drizzling outside and the weather is very very cold out here. So let's explore when the rain stops. The weather in Kohima has pleasant winters with little rainfall. Rain in Kohima makes the city more fresh, young and beautiful. But it couldn't resist me and the busy city life. These small kids remind me of my school days. We have entered the Kohima War Cemetery. So this is the War Cemetery. You can see behind me. Kohima War Cemetery is a memorial dedicated to the soldiers of the 2nd British Division of the Allied Forces. In March 1944, the Japanese attacked the British troops stationed in Kohima in order to prevent the attack on Burma. And there are total 1420 burials out here. This war cemetery is located in the heart of the city and tourists used to visit this historical landmark.
guys, one of the burial here I saw is of Sardar Khan. He was an Indian mechanical and electrical engineer. He died in the year 14 January 1946. My visit to Kohima War Cemetery was a moving experience. Thanks to Nagaland for preserving the history from World War II era. Before we visit other interesting places, I have come to a very beautiful restaurant named Tibet Corner because I am very hungry right now. Chicken soup sao and chicken hakka noodles for myself. So guys, the food was very great and here is the owner of this Tibet corner. And what are the specialties in your Tibet corner? Uh, namaskar, sabhi logo ko tashi dia lek. Or me ya Tibet corner poima ka honor ho. Hamara Tibetan ka special thora sa dish hai, wo me bata dunga aapko. Uh, wo hai gyatuk or moktuk, laping. Or jada dar to idhar sab logo ko wohi khushi pata hai ki chicken chowmin wagera na. Sabse jada chicken chowmin, chicken fried rice idhar jada wo khata hai sab log. Or ye bahut pasand karta hai idhar. Guys, I will highly recommend this Tibet corner to you because they are providing such a beautiful service here in Kohima. The foods are very nice and please do come here. After having tasty food, we are heading towards the Kisama village to enjoy the festival of festivals, the Hornbill Festival. The Hornbill Festival is a celebration held every year in Nagaland in the month of December, where all the tribes of Nagaland actively take part in this festival. The aim of the festival is to revive and protect the rich culture of Nagaland and display its extravaganza and traditions. The week-long festival unites one and all in Nagaland and people can enjoy the colorful performances.
morning i took the local means of transport to the famous cathedral church the bus fare to the place named poc is rupees 10 per person again i have to hire a taxi which will cost rupees 100 So guys, we are heading towards the Catholic Church in Kohima. I am traveling through a local taxi. Guys, one of our friend is accompanying us to the church. So guys I have reached the very beautiful church which is the architectural wonder here and this church is in Kohima today the weather is very cold it's about 10 degree celsius right now here in Kohima so it's very freezing cold guys guys meet my friend Basu hi guys he is working here in IPR Nagaland and he is staying here currently in Kohima i am actually from Nogao Actually, I'm working here of, uh, since last two years. I was born in Dimapur and brought up in Kohima. It's a very beautiful place. You must visit Kohima to see the natural beauty of it. Uh, to meet the uh, Naga peoples over here, they're very sweet and very humble. And uh, the site you were asking about the yeah, sightseeing, right? Yeah, what are the sightseeing? So you can say the Heritage Village, uh, which is in uh, Kisama. Kisama. And then here we have this beautiful Catholic church, church which is right behind me. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are lots of places like the World War II museum and the World War II tanks and all. So you can just come here, you can uh, explore Kohima. It's not hard to go to Kohima. It's very easy, you <laughs> yeah. know. Even I have a channel on YouTube. Uh, that my channel name is BB the Journeyman. Please subscribe to her channel yes. uh, because she is a very good uh, content creator. Guys, this is the view of the Kohima city behind me. where you can see the whole beauty of the Kohima city Church. Guys, this church was constructed in the year 1986, and here you can see Mother Mary also. Guys, there are so many beautiful flowers which are very nicely decorated here. So we are heading inside the church. ever visit Kohima then don't forget to enjoy the nightlife in the Kohima city where you can find interesting things plus there are food stalls where you can enjoy the street food sharing lots of memories with me i would love to visit Kohima again and again Don't say no oh.